In this level, we need to figure out what commandlet PowerShell has that works like wget. Then once we figure that out, we need to log into the system and find the name of a file located in the desktop's directory. These two items together create the password for Century Level 3. If you're unfamiliar with wget, it's a Linux command line tool that pulls down stuff from the internet. Here we are introduced to PowerShell aliases. In PowerShell, some aliases are Linux commands mapped to PowerShell commands, and others are just simple abbreviations for longer commandlets. Like every good engineer, my eyes are tuned for results from Stack Exchange. This is a really good answer to the question we have. It even goes on to point out that you can use wget in PowerShell because it's an alias for invoke web request. Invoke web request is probably the first part of the flag we're looking for, so let's copy that and keep it for later. At this point, we're halfway done. Let's look at the hints to help guide us to the finish line. Now we need to find the name of a file on the server, specifically the file located in the desktop directory. My bias for the Linux command line took over here, and if you noticed, I used ls. ls is actually an alias for get child item, but it's much easier just to type ls and be done with it. And there we go. In the output of ls is a name field with a value of 443. This is the second half of the password we needed for Century Level 3. Once I exit my current session and drop back into my local shell, I hit the up arrow once to recall the previous command, update the username to Century 3 and send it. I enter the password we discovered by combining the flags, and that gets us into Century Level 3. 